is Alexis Brown, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a topic that I am passionate about, and I believe that you should be passionate about and aware of. So how many of you in here enjoy chocolate? All right, so most of the crowd. How would many of you would enjoy it if you knew it was harvested by child slaves? I believe, I've done my research, and I've listened to many speakers from anti-slavery organizations, and I believe that if we can save one child from the bondage of slavery, it would be worth whatever sacrifice is necessary. Child slavery is a modern day problem because there are 8.4 million children, child laborers, poverty allows for the slave trade to occur, and the demand for cheap goods are high, and I believe that by stopping, we can stop slavery through ending poverty and strategic boycotts. Child slavery is a problem in countries where poverty is high and where the need to produce cheap goods is on the rise. So some key terms that you should know. Slavery is a condition in which one human is being owned by another. Poverty, the state of one who lacks the usual or socially acceptable amount of material or money. A boycott is the refuse to buy or participate in something as a way of protesting. And free trade is a product um, seen through all stages of production and no slavery was used in the process. Chocolate production in West Africa causes households to sell their children into slavery for money, um, according to foodispower.org. An article from foodispower.org gives the story of Ali, a former cocoa slave. Um, she was interviewed and told reporters that she was beaten while working in the chocolate industry, and some of her quotes include, some of the bags were taller than me, it took two people to put the bag on my head, and when you didn't hurry, you were beaten. Child slavery is a problem because there were 8.4 million child laborers in 2002. This number is estimated by the International Labor Organization and published by the antislavery.org website. Currently working, there are the 8.4 million child laborers, which allows the slave trade to occur because the need for cheap goods is still rising. According to antislavery.org, there are the 8.4 million children working right now. And this is an estimation because not all children that have been sold into slavery are accounted for. This does not include children that have jobs, but rather children who have been working in harsh conditions, like Allie, for little or no pay, who have been separated from their families. On slaveryfootprint.com, you can take a quiz based on your clothing, age, food intake, and it'll calculate how many slaves are working for you. So for me, a 19-year-old female from Minneapolis, and the amount of electronics, the food I eat, and the types of makeup I use, my calculated score was 68 slaves are working for me currently. This affects you because you're the people that desire cheap goods. We all do it. We shop for bargains, find the lowest prices, and disregard anything we consider to be overpriced. Um, some solutions. Solutions are not always easy, but there are some that could help end the pain of child slavery. One task cannot eliminate slavery but rather by working slowly, progress can be made in the fight against child slavery. It is a complex problem that stems directly out of poverty. Economic restructuring and growth as, long, as well as education can bring slavery closer to an end. Boycotts of companies that are not free trade products is another way that we can end child slavery. Written out on, a web, on the Parent Cooperative website, the Free Trades Foundation states that our vision is of a world with justice and sustainable development are at the heart of trade structures and practice so that everyone, through their work, can maintain a decent and dignified livelihood and develop their full potential. Boycotts would end child slavery through preventing a cash flow to the slave owners. Relating back to the example of chocolate, on the CNN website, a comment in the article says, if it gets a child out of slavery and into a classroom, then yes, I'll give up chocolate. Anyone with half a heart would. This would work closely with the poverty issue and restructuring economic systems. A lot of charity work and fundraising would be involved, um, and education in developing countries would also be a necessity. In order to get this plan off the ground, it would need support from international organizations, which wouldn't be extremely difficult because of the conditions that the children are found in. My plan would fix the problems that cause child slavery by ending poverty, increasing education, and the strategic boycotts. If countries were economically restructured, there would be no need for parents to sell their children into work. 
more charity examples from CNN Bay Area reported that a nine-year-old, Vivian Har, set up a lemonade stand that she called Take a Stand Lemonade. The nine-year-old has raised over $100,000 and has been very successful. Investors have even put her lemonade into stores. You may be wondering if this plan is too expensive. When we're thinking about the children suffering, is there really a price that is too high? By making it easy for people to give money to the cause, millions of dollars could be raised. If no one takes a stand against poverty and the lack of education, issues like child slavery will continue to exist. Um, all right, so just imagine your younger sibling or your child being sold into slavery. Wouldn't you make it your life mission to get the child back? So as you can see here, the two top pictures are both of my younger sister, who is 15, and the bottom picture is my sister and I with our nieces and our nephew. So action, the challenge on chocolate. To continue shopping for chocolate is a necessity for most people, but by looking through the chocolate and looking for the fair trade symbol, which as you may recall is the symbol placed on things when all the steps of the making process have been checked to see if they're slave free. So my action to you is think about the next time you are purchasing chocolate, know where your money is going, and you have the power to be an informed consumer, and you can prevent money from going to the slave owners that enslave children. Child slavery is a modern day problem because of the 8.4 million children. Poverty allows this to occur and the demand for cheap goods is high. I believe that we can stop slavery through our boycotts and our education in third world countries.